we're now going to discuss about neural networks but before do we do that let us discuss about uh, machine learning so artificial intelligence it refers to any intelligence that enables computers to mimic human intelligence ai enabled machines think al algorithmically and execute what they have been asked for intelligently a machine will automatically mimic human intelligence so basically artificial machine systems mimic human intelligence that is they are able to carry out functions in such a way that their intelligence looks to be like human intelligence machine learning machine learning enables machine to improve at tasks with experience so given a lot of training data the machine will be able to predict the output with new data so the machine learns from its mistakes and takes them into consideration it improvises using its own experience if a machine can improvise it is at par with human intelligence then the next concept is deep learning now deep learning deals uh, with it deals with a lot of data machine with deep learning are intelligent enough to develop algorithms for themselves so here in deep learning machines they develop algorithms on their own and they are trained with large amount of data a deep learning involves neural networks and the neural networks are functioning on the basis of how a human neuron works so most advanced form of artificial intelligence is uh, deep learning artificial intelligence covers all the concepts and algorithms which in some way or the other mimic human intelligence then there are uh, decision trees the decision trees all data holds importance while developing the decision tree the beginning point is known as the rule decision tree is a rule based ai model which helps the machine in predicting what an element is with the help of various rules so let us learn about rule based and learning based approach under rule based approach the developer feeds in the data and rules and the uh, model is gets trained and then the model gives out answers in learning approach in uh, there are data and there are also answers the machine gives out rules the machine develops its own algorithms and understand what is the data and the uh, this is also a clustering technique here the clusters are known the data is available but the rules are yet to be figured out the machine designs its own algorithms and methodologies to match the data with the answers and it gives out the rules this approach is commonly used when the data is unknown or random or unlabeled so this is basically the clustering technique the learning approach is the clustering technique and here the rule based approach is the classification technique we have various common ai models we have regression model so in the regression model this is also a type of rule based ai model so in regression the algorithms generate a mapping function from the given data so there is one a mapping function that gets developed and all the points are marked with the help of the points that are marked i get a mapping function so with any new incoming data and the mapping function i will be able to predict the new value so with the help of the uh, mapping function we can predict the future data for example if we want to predict the salary of an employee we can use his past salaries as training data and can predict his next salary regression works with continuous data continuous data is a uh, numerical data then there is classification classification model has uh, classes some categories so in classification the algorithm is able to determine which set a given data point belongs to 
by means of a classification function represented by a dotted line. The model classifies data sets according to the rules given to it. Usually the data set used for classification are labeled. So here I will have uh, the points which are labeled red and green. So in case if I get a new point, consider which is here, then I would label it as a green point. If I get another point which is here, so I would label it as a red point. So for example, if you want to train a model to identify if an image is of a guitar or a piano, we need to train it with many images of guitar and piano along with their labels. And then once the machine learns from lots of lots of images with any new incoming image, it will be able to predict whether it is a guitar or a piano. Classification works on discrete data set. Discrete data sets are like categories. And then there is clustering. Under clustering, we are not aware of the rules and we are not aware of uh, what clustering is there. So, for example, if we have a random data of stray dogs which live in the locality and we are unable to find any meaningful pattern among them. So, we would feed in the data. So, with lots of images of those stray dogs, I would feed in the data and uh, the, the algorithm will analyze all the pictures of it and then it would divide them into clusters depending upon the similarities seen between them. So depending upon the similar images, it would be classified as one cluster. Another set of similar images uh, would be uh, coming under another cluster. So if there is any new incoming image, it will be uh, put in any one cluster. Clustering also works on discrete data set. That is, it basically works with finally coming to some sort of categories. So the data is usually unlabeled. That is, I do not tell the category of the dog here. And the machine will find out the pattern and the trends on its own. And the output might also vary from one machine to another machine.